So in this video, I wanna talk about social circle game in a sense, but building connections with other people. So you can have a great, amazing relationships and how I think it's one of the most powerful tools possible to building a great relationship. Building bonds, building connection, and why it's so powerful in healing everything that you, most likely as a viewer of this channel, wanna do. Whether it's build a business, make money, build relationships, be happy. I mean, really, ultimately, my channel is about learning to be happy. So happy you're magnetic to everybody around you. Now, this is Buddy. I'm out in Minnesota. Um, I'm at my dad's house. And I love my dad. He's super loving, super sweet, good human being. And it's such a healthy healing relationship for me to be here with him. And a lot of you might be thinking, you know, that's, wait a minute. I thought your dad <laughs> was a sociopathic criminal. That was my stepdad, the dad I grew up with, not this dad. That dad, yes, he was, from what I understand, a hijacker um, and a career criminal. I heard he burned down a house for money, just did horrible stuff. And this dad is very loving, so I decided to come out here to build a relationship with him, to live with him for a little while, to really build connection as I travel around. And I'm super glad I did. The more I think about this idea of building relationships, the more I think about this idea of connection, it is the key. I think it's the whole reason we're on this planet. Whether you're building a business, you're building relationships, you're building deeper connection, whether you're dating, whether you're having sex, whether you're, no matter what it is, I think that it's really about those connections. So I wanna dive deeper into it and why those connections, I wanna talk about why those connections are gonna make you good with women, ultimately get you an amazing relationship, ultimately get you that amazing life of your dreams. And I see this in client after client. There's a lot of clients out there that wanna get sex, wanna get a hot woman, but they don't really wanna connect with people. They just wanna get that woman. And the honest truth is, is if they do get good at getting her, it's superficial, it's plastic, it doesn't work. Um, it ends up falling apart later. You end up having to be one of those guys that trades value to get a woman. You give me all your looks and I'll take care of you, something like that. And that's not what we want, is it? We wanna be uber confident and free with beautiful women. We wanna be a person, a man, that brings value to this world, not because I'm attached and I need something from you, but because I'm free inside. I know who I am. And by being free and being ultimately giving, the world gives back to me in return in spades. I've seen this in client after client after client. What do I mean by this? Let's dive in a little deeper. Let's take a deeper look. Now, if you get what I mean and you understand what I'm talking about, I'd love for you to stop and just put a comment in the video right now. Let's, let's, let's all share in the comments. Do you get the importance of relationships for being good with women? I'm not talking about just relationships with women, relationships with friends, social circle, connecting with others, not to get, but to just create more, for lack of a better term, love in the world, compassion in the world, connection in the world, healing in the world. You see, I believe that the reason we're on this planet is to get back to that deep, innocent part of ourselves. And I believe that we all have this innocent child inside of us. Sometimes we're assholes. Sometimes we're motherfuckers. Sometimes women are bitches. Matter of fact, somebody might be an asshole or a bitch the bulk of their lives, 80% of their lives. And you're just like, that guy is such a dick. But deep down inside there, there's an innocent child. And he's, got, he's an asshole because he's scared. He's an asshole because he's insecure. She's a bitch because she's got issues. And when we learn to love people, care about people, really believe in people and see that innocent child on the other side of all those walls, it starts to heal people. I've seen it in my practice time and time again. When I'm working with people and I keep seeing them at their best and I keep seeing that most confident, vulnerable part of themselves, that strong vulnerability inside of themselves, believing in them, they start to heal. Sometimes I don't even have to do much with them. It just keeps holding that space. No matter how much they try to push me away, pull me out, distract me, analyze, judge, they start to heal because I'm relentless at holding that space with them. And we are really craving being seen and that's what relationships do. This is why I used to have a house. Uh, I think I said that earlier. Did I say that earlier? There's a gun range over here, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that. so that's gonna be going off for a while. But I used to have a house where I built it for socializations. I had a couple of different places. I would. I would decorate them, put lights in them and uh, music and I had trampoline in the backyard and I had barbecue and fire pits and I had all kinds of warm fuzzy stuff to hang out with and I, I didn't just do that to get women. Sure, the women loved it, but I did that 
to have fun with people so that everybody could come over, use my space, and we could have a great time. When I had my house in Bozeman for the last few years, I decorated it beautiful. And when I was gone, I would, I had my best friends in town. I'd say, come use the house. That's what it's there for. It's not there just to look pretty. It's there to be used by the people I love and care about, to build community. We would have game night, and we would have, I'd have all kinds of community and friends coming over to socialize in the house. This is what I'm talking about, because when you start to build a real social circle, and you really start to let people in, and you really start to practice caring about people, people start showing up in your life. It's amazing to watch them show up. It's amazing to watch, like, maybe you meet a beautiful woman over here, and she's not the right woman for you, but you introduce her to your buddy and they end up hooking up. And next thing you know, she's got three other women she wants to set you up with because it's that giving and receiving energy. You're unattached to outcome. You're not jealous, you're not needy. This is what we wanna work on. How do you work on this? This is what my whole channel's about. You get out there and you start approaching. You start approaching, but not from a place of, let me get your number, let me get sex with you, but from a place of, let's have fun, let's laugh together. I'm gonna bring fun to this conversation, and I'm gonna open my heart, and I'm gonna ground, and I'm gonna ground you, create a great space for you to relax and have a good time with me. And if you don't want to, great, somebody else will. Or maybe you'll open up a little bit, and think about, walk away, and go, I kinda wanna talk to that guy again, and you end up talking to him to her later, and she opens up more. I've had this happen. I had one woman I walked up to and she was another bitch with me and I just laughed and had a good time. She was still a bitch. I remember this distinctly in a bar one night. So I left, came back an hour later and we ended up making out, you know? And you could say, oh, she was a bitch, you know, da da da. Sometimes we're just in a mood. Sometimes we're having a bad mood. Sometimes they are being a bitch. But under that wall is that sweet human being who just wants to be seen again. And the less reactive you are to people and their games and their bullshit, the more they start dropping their walls, speak good about you, and want to be there for you. I used to practice this all the time. I'd go out on dates with difficult women and be like, ah, I'm not gonna go anywhere with this woman, so I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna practice having fun, let her be difficult, and just enjoy myself. Or when somebody's in a bad mood, I'm gonna stay and cap, encourage as best I can, not let them affect me, and enjoy myself, and just gently invite them up. And sometimes they came, sometimes they didn't. But the overall results were powerful. They remembered it. So I want to encourage you to build a social circle, not for the purpose of just getting laid, but for the purpose of practicing really connecting with people, really letting people in. I want to encourage you to approach women and all kinds of people like I teach. You could do 100 approaches in a day on a weekend if you want, in an hour if you want to do them quick. If you want to slow down, do 20, 25, and just practice socializing with people. Approach people two times a day, just different people, and start conversations, learn to see the innocence in them. That's what the vulnerability walks about. That's what the heart walks about. See the beauty in these people and just be there for a little bit and ground them out. And if you do this consistently, let's say two people a day over the long term and maybe an occasional weekend where you go out and do a whole bunch of them and you just practice talking to everybody, including the beautiful women, if that's what you're working on, you're going to see a difference. And if you stop chasing phone numbers and sex, that doesn't mean you don't ask for them. It doesn't mean you don't choose having them. It doesn't mean you don't choose having a great sex, great relationship. Just stop saying, this is the person I need to get it from. Just approach this person, have fun, and have that intention in the back of your mind that the right person is going to show up. And just laugh with this person, smile with this person, tease. And, and as you get more relaxed, that's the key, as you relax deeper into your body, get more in body, get more comfortable, become more of yourself, more free in yourself, it's gonna naturally progress progress in that direction. And you guys gonna, you guys, I did say a few weeks ago, I wanna create a video on that, how to do a desensitization process for approaching rather than a getting process, right? How to learn through approaching to totally let go and go free with the women so that they naturally start getting attracted to you versus chasing them, right? That, I wanna do a video on that, well, how that works because that's everything. Every time I walk up and say hi, you know, am I trying to get from you? Am I wanting something? Or am I letting go of the need to get? Am I releasing and doing the emotional work so that even if she's a bitch, I'm still happy. I'm still free. I'm still bringing love to the next person and saying, wow, I'm building memories. I mean, each day that, <laughs> that I go out approaching, whether I get rejected or somebody loves me or has a great time with me, it's a memory. We can talk about, oh man, she, she was being so mean. We can laugh about it. We can talk about, oh, she was so happy and so sweet and loving. Memory after memory. So when you're 80, 90 years old, you're thinking back to all the people you met, the adventures you had, the love you created. Because I think on the other side, when we die, that's what it's really about. It's about the love we created, the connections we had, how many hearts we healed. 
And that's where the real reward is. It's not in how many women you had sex with. <laughs> I may be a little hippy dippy right now, but that's the truth, you know? And healing isn't always soft and, and, and maternal. It can be paternal, it can be tough, it can be saying no, but your heart's still open and you still have this intent of being the best person for that person in front of you. The best person can be tough, can say no, can set a boundary, can be hard, and can be loving, can be soft, can be like, come here, give me a big hug. You know, I was thinking about my clients that really get this, that they had to do the work and got it, right? And I did a video on, on one the other day and and uh, there's many of them actually, but when they, they finally go free, there's one in particular I'm thinking of. He had to do a lot of work. He went through a lot of trauma in his childhood and he, he, he was dedicated. And we were out at a bar one night. He just wasn't getting it because he was always, he was, he was good looking, he had the abs, he had the clothes, he had the attitude, but he was just performing for the women. Hey, what's up, what's up? Trying to be cool all the time. You can feel it on him, like a fake subtle mask of coolness. Hey, what's this? And he was just getting frustrated. They just keep rejecting me. And I'm like, yeah, because you're trying to take from them. You're playing a game with them. You're not being real with them. You're not being free with them, right? And he got it that night because I showed it over and over and they, right to his face. Like, do it with me. Do it with me. I'm going to do it with you. Let them in. Let them see your innocence. You see their innocence. Let them in. Feel their heart. See the little girl inside. Let her see your little boy. Let her see your inner man. See that the powerful part of yourself. Just like the vulnerability walks, the vulnerability talks. And, and he finally got it. He got it with me. And I said, now go do it with that woman right now. And he... He went over there and he did it. He was in like a 30 minute conversation, came back to me and said, that was amazing. She loved every bit of that. And I said, yes, go do it again immediately. Don't talk to me. Did it again. All night long he connected. And from that moment on, the magic was happening. He was getting date after date, meeting woman after woman when there was nothing before. Just like Napoleon Hill says in Think and Grow Rich, I can't remember the exact words, but when it comes, it comes in such abundance, you wonder where it was during all the lean years. And that's true, it's the same thing he experienced, same thing Eddie experienced, if you guys all know my client Eddie. Um, the other day I was talking about him, I was calling him E, and when he walked out and saw that woman, he went, fuck, you're beautiful, look at you, oh my God. And he just, he didn't care what she, whether she, he didn't care how she took it, right? He did, he wanted to give her the gift of all that freedom of outcome and that expression, but if she rejected him, he'd be like, hey, I'm going home, you know, or I'm going to do something else. And she lit right up, right? And loved it, and that's exactly what he felt inside. He was congruent, right? He said she was the, the most beautiful girl I saw all night. He said she was so beautiful. And so I just said it and she, she lit right up because it transmitted from his innocence to hers. And that's the power I'm talking about. When you learn to create social circles like that, friends like that, and you practice that with everybody, the cashier, the barista, you don't have to tell everybody they're beautiful. When you just go on date after date to make people smile, maybe you just go on dates with difficult women to see if you can practice busting through their walls and laughing, even though you're not gonna seriously date them. When you go out with friends and you, you help to open them up when they're stuck and you learn to be that grounding opening force then people are going to want to do that for you it's going to come back to you in spades i promise you and that's powerful when you think about it that's an art form living in cap living in courage living in love living in freedom and that's what this channel is about that's what i'm about and that's what this video is about now the reason i did it outside is because here i am visiting my dad i'm in minnesota I'm hanging out with my dog. I'm hanging out with my dad's neighbor. I'm making more new friends and building a deeper family bond here so I can heal even more, so I can be more in love with the world, in love with people, and bring that love to more people in the world. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm talking about this today. That's what this is about. So if you want more of that, put that in the comments because that's where real happiness comes from, isn't it? Think about it. Real happiness comes from connection with other people. That's what it's all about. And uh, that's what we're all craving. And so coming to you from Minnesota with my dad's side of the family, which is huge out here, it's just great. So definitely put a comment in the video. Talk about how important this is for you to build. How much do you think this will affect your dating life? Do you want that other video where I talk about how to do this through approaches? Um, do you want me to go through another video where I teach the heart walk and the vulnerability walk? It's what you do out here, man. You learn to let things in and really feel them for real versus analyzing them through your head or dramatizing them. And that's what people feel when you really connect with them. So put those in the comments. I really appreciate it. Love to have those discussions with you. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live.
and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day.